world! My name is Maya Sundermeyer, and I would like to welcome you to the latest episode of my blog series. The main purpose of my blogs right now is to talk about what it is like for me to live on the autism spectrum. Uh, I also like to blog about things that are nerdy and things that interest me because I eventually would like to uh, see my blogs become a mini live show in the style of Good Morning America and I would like to go to Dragon Con and Comic Con and vice versa, or et cetera, whatever. And um, what better way to start covering nerdy topics than um, talking about the TV show My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic. And there are a lot of nerds that watch the show and they collect the characters and they cosplay at various conventions like Dragon Con and Comic Con. They write all kinds of fanfics and fan art and they do their own fan videos and pony music videos using some of uh, our latest music that could come from Katy Perry, you name it. Uh, and what I would like to do now is uh, cover a really, really great fanfic that I read because I am a huge fan of Discord and Fluttershy, and I like to pair those two. I mean, I know a lot of people like the term ship or shipping, but uh, personally, I can't stand that term. I can't tell if uh, someone is uh, trying to mail something off to uh, their brother in the U.S. military overseas, or if they're talking about a relationship and they're using shipping for short. So. I really like to pair Discord and Fluttershy because they just seem to flow so naturally. And I realized it unexpectedly when I had watched Season 3, Episode 10, Keep Calm and Flutter On, and the writers decided to have Fluttershy be a mentor and be a friend to him and, quote, reform him. And uh, so last December, I had stumbled upon a uh, dramatic reading called The Bride of Discord and I ended up watching a couple of episodes and there are uh, a series of artists and voiceovers and, and a great writer by the name of Disney Fanatic that get together every single month and they uh, they capture lines from a uh, fanfic uh, called The Bride of Discord. So I started watching the, uh, the dramatic readings and I liked them so well, but uh, there are only two episodes. So I did myself the honor to do some research and I uh, soon discovered that uh, there was a fanfic and I started reading it. And what uh, Disney Fanatic did was uh, she did a similar theme to Beauty and the Beast. Um, and she also created a parallel world where uh, Discord does not get turned into stone. Uh, the girls attempt to uh, turn him into stone, but he ends up escaping and they run back to Princess Celestia. And Celestia tells them that they have to keep their elements of harmony on at all time in case Discord makes an appearance. Well, you know, he disappears for three years while ending up uh, spying on uh, the main six. And it's during uh, that uh, time period that Fluttershy has all kinds of nightmares about him coming back and uh, turning her back into her mean old self that she was in uh, season two's Return of Harmony. But uh, like in this, uh, you know, uh, like in the series, um, uh, Disney Fanatic, who is a, also a Fluttercord fan like me, does a brilliant job capturing that uh, just because Discord is different and just because he's acting mean on one occasion doesn't mean that he's actually a mean and nasty character. He's actually a very sad and lonely and... Uh, he wants uh, someone to love him. He wants to settle down and have a family. And more than anything, he wants to have a friend. And again, a Disney fanatic did a beautiful job of capturing it. And I think she did a better job than what they did with uh, Discord in Season 3 and Season 4 put together. 
he was just a lot softer. A couple of times in the series, he was a little harsh, up until the end of uh, season four, when we saw a uh, completely uh, or a complete breakdown of the character Discord after he lost his power and he discovered that uh, he really liked Fluttershy and how she was worth it. Um, again, I think Disney Fanatic did a nice job. Now, um, I uh, have gone on and listened to uh, the, um, uh, what is it? Oh, the dramatic reading of The Bride of Discord. And again, uh, Disney Fanatic has a lot of talent. She has a lot of potential and she has great networks. And the char the characters are voiced by uh, several different people. I know that uh, uh, Disney Fanatic does the voice of uh, Applejack and she does the voice of Rainbow Dash. And uh, I know that uh, there's a guy that does a good job with Discord. I mean, he, he has a different sound than John Delancey, but he does a pretty good job with the laugh and uh, does a pretty good job acting like Discord. And uh, he, uh, he does a great job of capturing the voice. Um, other things about uh, the dramatic reading, uh, it's, there were various artists that uh, uh, different bronies and Pigasus sisters had managed uh, to create based on their own perception upon reading the story. And the pictures uh, pretty well coordinate to the story itself. And uh, along with that, uh, Disney Fanatic also uh, has a great soundtrack to her. Uh, <laughs> she has a great soundtrack that come from different uh, movies like Beauty and the Beast and Tangled. And she also uh, does manage to write some parody songs like uh, she had uh, Fluttershy sing a song, Some Pony to Love, which is a uh, knockoff of Queen's Somebody to Love. And then they had Applejack singing the song on my own, and uh, she ha had her do it in uh, the style of um, an equestrian version of um, Les Miserables on my own. And uh, I thought that parts of that song were pretty funny. Uh, so... Uh, let's see. Wait, let's see. What else can I say about it? Um, okay. What you know? Uh, so while we have Applejack, or we have, or while lots of people are huge fans of uh, Rarity and Spike together, I mean, I my, myself included. I love those two. Uh, Disney is a uh, fan of shipping uh, Spike and Applejack because. Uh, she said in her uh, Q and A's on YouTube that she thought that Rarity was just too shallow of a character, and she preferred Applejack. And I forgot why she preferred Applejack with Spike instead. Uh, I don't know. Maybe it was when she had uh, had viewed the episode where she had uh, where Applejack had uh, or Spike had saved Applejack from the Timberwolves. Either way, I do not remember that. But for those of you who have never uh, read The Bride of Discord, I don't care if you guys are not a fan of pairing those two. I uh, recommend listening to her, uh, uh, what is it, her dramatic readings. And I also recommend that you uh, read her fanfic and uh, you spread it around to others because she's a very good writer and uh, she just really has a unique mind and... Uh, has a great point of view and a great way of uh, saying that that you should never judge a book by its cover. So, um, until next time, my name is Maya Sundermeyer and I'm signing off now. Bye.